Hey guys, welcome to Jash Outline. Today we are talking about Poco F1. So, let's get started. device since 16 days it's around two and a half weeks so right now I can tell you what are the good and bad in this device and let you know whether you need to get this device or not so here is the POCO F1 review I have categorized this POCO F1 into majorly five parts which is build quality screen camera software and battery life so let's talk about each and every category. The first one is build quality. I can say that the build quality is not good or great, but it doesn't feel cheap also. Of course, it's made of plastic and it is called as polycarbonate. The back of this POCO F1 device is plastic and it's not that great in terms of build quality. And back of POCO F1, which has a plastic, called as polycarbonate it it may not feel good or premium but it doesn't feel cheap so this plastic bag can be compromised when the internals are very great and we can get a flagship kind of a specs in this device but in hand feel when you hold this device in your hands it doesn't feel that premium i would rate build quality of this device as uh, around 5 out of 10 because the back and sides of this device is completely plastic and the front has a glass. So now coming to the second part, which is screen. This POCO F1 has a 1080p screen. The resolution of this POCO F1 screen is Full HD+. Plus. It's little more than 1080p. The screen is not that great when you compare to uh, AMOLED displays because this display is a LCD one. AMOLED display pops out the colors a lot. The viewing angles are good. The colors which the screen produce is quite good and natural and not that oversaturated. I watch a lot of YouTube videos on this screen and this screen doesn't bother me at all. It doesn't support Netflix and Amazon to stream the content in more than 720p. It kind of streams in 540p but I don't watch Amazon or Netflix on mobile screens and that doesn't bother me. And the speakers with this device, one speaker is bottom of the device and other speaker in the earpiece. The earpiece speaker doesn't give you that much sound output, but it supports the other speaker. When I block the bottom speaker of the device, even I can listen the audio but it amplifies the main speaker to give you uh, a good audio experience in the speaker department. So I would rate this display 7 out of 10. So now we will come to the main aspect of this device which is cameras. It has dual camera on the back and a single selfie camera on the front. The dual camera which is the combination of 12 megapixel plus 5 megapixel and the front camera is around 20 megapixel. These cameras are pretty good for me and I think it would be pretty damn good for everyone. For most common people, this camera is great. Most of the time, the pics comes very good out of this camera. It really takes very sharp images. It handles dynamic range very well. The white balance is mostly 70% of the times are great sometimes it will miss in daylight conditions this camera is really good only the con in this camera is when sometime you take a picture of a very greenish object it's it's kind of tends to yellowish tint on that image that's make a bad experience apart from that in daylight conditions, pics taken by this camera are great. Portraits from this device are also great. 
I can't say that they are extraordinary. I can't compare to Pixel, but the portrait mode works pretty good in daylight conditions and it produces very good results. In low light, it performs about average, but not that great. In low light, the shots taken from this device are very usable. I can't say that it is pretty good, but and I love how it takes the pics in the night. When you have little amount of light, it can give great pictures or pretty good pictures and you can use it for Instagram, Facebook and selfies come out pretty good from this camera. Coming to the video department, it records 4K in 30 FPS without image stabilization or electronic stabilization. The footage which is taken from this device in 4K is a lot shaky if you don't have a steady hands. The footage which is taken from this device in 1080p resolution which has electronic stabilization is pretty good and the video comes out very good without any shakes if you have a shaky hand also and that's pretty good and it has a slow motion of 1080p 240 frames per second also and this comes very hand when you have a lot of light around you and this has a time lapse option also and the time lapse option is pretty good so i would rate the camera in this device like 8 out of 10. Let's get to the fourth department, which is software. Here comes the major part of MIUI in this device. It doesn't come with the Android one, it comes with MIUI. The software MIUI is great for who used MI devices from past. I mean, they have used I mean, MI devices because they would be habituated with the software and they would be very comfortable with the software and this software is pretty good i'm not saying that it's great but it's pretty good and it gives you like a lot of features in it which you can use so i would give you the software experience around 7 out of 10 uh, coming to the fifth point which is performance on this device this device has snapdragon 845 and 6 gb ram which performs crazy the performance on this device is almost close to one plus six this device is not that as rapid speed as one plus six but it's pretty speedy device and combination of 6 gb ram and snapdragon 845 which handles any task very easily the games on this device is pleasure you can play any high intense games on this device without breaking a sweat and this device supports high graphic contents with the high settings on the game and the gaming on this device is pretty good you will not have any problem regarding the performance on this device the pubg on this device is really great i played the pubg game on this device without any frame drops and the liquid cooling system on this device helps a lot to cool down the device so coming to another department which is battery the battery on this device is 4000 mAh this battery comes easily two days for a normal usage and medium usage and the optimization of the software and hardware which really increase the battery life a lot being a higher capacity like 4000 mAh battery the software and hardware supports the battery pretty good the screen on time on this device comes to 6 to 7 hours at very high usage and i would rate the battery around 9 out of 10 on this device so now coming to the extras on this device these extras are might be pretty important to the 50 percent of the people and not for the 50 percent of the people so those extras are headphone jack headphone jack is very important to me and the headphone jack is present on this device audio experience using the headphone jack is pretty good and it has expandable storage the base variant of this device comes with 64 gb so mostly 60 percent people will be sufficient with 64 gb on this device 
these days everything is stored on cloud the music the videos the photos everything are on cloud so 64 gb is enough for most of the people but there are people where 64 gb is not enough for them so this device gives you an option for expandability of the storage and it can expand to 256 gb through micro sd card slot and it comes with type usb c port for charging and it supports fast charging and that's pretty good and you can use dual sim on this device we don't use the option of expandable memory on this device so let's get to the final conclusion we'll divide this into pros and cons pros are good display better camera very good battery fast charging headphone jack these days we need to consider headphone jack into pros list and the performance of this device so let's get to the cons the build quality of this device comes under cons the support of streaming in hd and full hd amazon prime video and netflix is not present on this device we can consider that as a con because it can't be updated through software it should be updated through hardware and other con removal of ia blaster so the pros are many and cons are a few and you are getting this poco f1 for 21,000 at the base variant which i got it in a steel blue color and which is awesome so that's it guys for this video if you like the review please do give a thumbs up and let me know how is the video in the comment section below see you guys in the next video until then chill out and keep rocking